Hiya, kiddos. I hope you're having a smiley day. And if not, I hope I can help. I got a very cool book for you. And Grandpa Ken always looks for groovy books because Pete tells me all the time back there, find another groovy book, Grandpa Ken. Barkley's always barking at me about something. So I thought we'd do one that I, I read to my sons years ago. A fine line. Huh. A fine line, kiddos. Have you ever heard someone say, well, that's a fine line? I don't know. What do you think it's about? Well, it's about Red. Because he's excited about his first day of school. He was going to school to become a circle. Oh, look, see? There he is. And he's going to go to school to learn to become a circle. Both of his parents were well-respected circles. They expected him to become a circle, too. Do well in Lion School, Red, they said. We want to be proud of you. Red knew that he, if he worked hard and be, became an outstanding circle, he could be just like his parents. Yeah, do you guys think about that sometimes? I did. I did. I did. And Red, he did work hard, kiddos, but he, he didn't become an outstanding circle. At first, he couldn't even make his ends meet. It was exasperating, very exasperating, exasperating me. But Red kept trying. He worked and worked and stretching and flexing. This was not easy. Every time his ends got close enough to touch, they popped apart. It was upsetting, very, very upsetting. Can you imagine being a line, but you want to be a circle because it's what your mom and dad, when you got to try. But Red kept trying. He worked and worked and stretching and, and, and flexing and tightens. One day, his ends finally meet and they stayed together. It looks like a victory. All right, cool, groovy. But before Red could say, I'm a circle, his side slumped under the pressure and he faced the awful truth. He looked just like an oval. And everyone knew that ovals were lines who couldn't succeed at being lines. Oh, it was frustrating, very frustrating. Have you ever been frustrated like that, kid? I have. Oh, dear, thought Red. What will I do? I can't give up now. I must work even harder. So day after day and week after week, Red worked harder and becoming a circle. Have you ever had an experience like that where you just had to keep? Some were beginning to doubt him. Are you really try, uh, trying, his parents asked him? Did, uh, did you eat a good breakfast, the headline asked. Did you get enough sleep? Did, uh, did you do your homework? Yes, yes. Red replied, and he kept on working. He even called the phone line for advice, but she was busy. Oh, no. Despite his very best effort, Red was getting discouraged. Could he ever be a circle? Oh, no. In fact, he had improved a little. His, his ends always met now, but every time he thought he had made it, it, it would sag at the top and one droop at the bottom. And every day, this sagging and drooping and sagging and drooping. Oh, oh look at Oh, goodness. That's not a circle, is it, kiddos? Red was assigned a guideline who wanted to be helpful. Are you concentrating, the guide's line asked. Yes, replied Geth. Red, it was the truth. Months had passed since he had thought about anything except becoming a circle. You must imagine yourself being a circle, the guideline suggested helpfully. So Red imagined being a circle. See? See this? He's like kind of like the guy. He's like a swami. He's teaching him a lesson huh, of lines. But it didn't help. Nothing changed. Sagging and drooping and drooping and sagging. It was depressing. Very depressing. But you gotta grab a hold. You can't stay depressed. That doesn't make any sense. 
Now it was the week of the final test. All of the families would be invited. Blue would perform his rectangle perfectly. Green would wow everybody with his hexagon. And Red would have to attempt his circle in public. Oh, wow, that had to be scary. Don't you think, kiddos? Have you ever had to do something in public? But it's fun, really. I've done it a lot. The, th the thought terrified Red, but there was no out. For two days, he didn't eat. For two days, all he did was practice and worry. The next day, the auditorium was packed with anxious families. Nervous lines waited backstage. Red was the most nervous of all. He was not in with fear. And sure enough, line after line performed perfectly. A round of applause, each performance. Finally, it was Red's turn. His guideline gave him a reassuring smile as Red took the place on stage. He knew that the audience, especially his parents, wanted him to do his very best, and he was determined to do exactly that. Red took a deep breath. <gasps> Slowly and carefully, he curved into shape. It was going well, so far, his ends met on the first try. His sides held strong. It looked like a success. And then, for the first time in his entire life, Red sagged and drooped at the same time. See, he finally made his, his circle, kiddos. Oh, no. The audience went, ah, they gasped. Red froze. He squeezed his eyes shut, trying to hold back the tears and wishing he could disappear. Oh, it was the worst moment of his life. He was a complete and total failure. Oh, look at it. It sagged. Oh, no. And drooped at the same time. And then, look, look, whispered in the front row. Look, look, repeated someone near the back. Look shouted the someone who sounded exactly like his guide. Look, he's a heart. He's a heart. He's a heart. The audience began to chant, heart, 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 heart. Then someone began to applaud. The applause grew louder and louder, and Red opened his eyes and couldn't believe what he saw. Everybody that crowded around him, all take talking at once, can you believe it? We've never produced a heart before. He's a natural. He's a hero. What a fine line. Red's parents were so proud they couldn't say a word. And Red was so thrilled he actually glowed. He knew that no matter how hard he tried, he was never meant to be a circle. He had discovered his real self. Red was a very happy heart. Very happy indeed. Isn't that great? See, kiddos, there's always a lesson in, in, in these things that we read. And I want you to know that this lesson is simply this. Keep your eyes open what you want to do. Keep your eyes open what you think would be fun. But be safe and always talk to your grown-ups. And remember, keep a smile. The smile keeps everybody knowing you're feeling okay. And when you're not, tell somebody. So... Thanks for coming to Grandpa Ken's and Friends Reading Time and the Reading Room. Thank you, kiddos. We love you. Come back and remember, be safe. Be safe most of all.